Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. I'm gonna show you how to configure the Stream Deck to control Blackmagic ATEM video switchers and use the Stream Deck as a control interface for switching cameras, switching inputs, uh, turning you know, downstream and upstream keyers on and off, all sorts of different things. You can control all this from the Stream Deck into your Blackmagic video switchers. All right, I'm gonna show you how to configure the Stream Deck to control your Blackmagic uh, ATEM video switcher. So this does work with all of their video switcher models. So we're gonna go into the uh, GUI for your companion app. So the companion's running up here. We're gonna click Launch GUI. And we're now in the BitFocus companion setup screen. So under Connections, we're gonna go ahead and add the connection for your video switcher. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in ATEM as a shortcut. You could also search for Blackmagic. So you can see here, they have available the Blackmagic Design ATEM uh, component. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. It will scan your network, so you can leave it at manual and type in the IP address, or it should scan your network and find it. So it did find my device here on IP36. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. I have the ATEM 2ME production switcher from Blackmagic. And we can leave the rest of this set up and just click save. So you can see now, we have made a successful connection called ATEM. The status has a green check, so it can co communicate with the video switcher. So now let's start setting up some buttons. So I'm gonna go over to the Buttons tab. I have a blank page here on my Stream Deck. And I'm gonna show you kinda how I set up my uh, buttons in Stream Deck. So I have Several cameras, so we're gonna go ahead and set up cameras one through three. I'm gonna show you, you know, how to do a cut and a fade, and I'm gonna show you how to get some feedback. And then I also use um, alpha key lower thirds. So I have that set up as an on-air button, so we can turn that on and off as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these up. So I'm gonna click on an open button here, click create button, and I'm gonna name this cam one. All right, and then I'm gonna scroll down under the press action, and I'm gonna browse under my ATEM switcher. So I'm looking for setting an input. All right, ME set program input. Right here is the what we want for taking camera one live. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that. So in my case, I do have uh, a 2ME switcher, so I can pick which uh, mix effects bus I want to do this on. So I'm gonna leave it on mix effects one, and I'm gonna set my input to be camera one. So when I press this button, a mix effects one, it's gonna set up, or it's gonna select camera one. If you had like a ATEM television studio, you wouldn't have this ME um, option. You would just be able to pick the input. So very simply now, when I press this button, it will activate camera one on my program bus. All right, so then I can set up a new button or I can just copy it. So I'm gonna copy this. So I'm gonna hit the duplicate, select camera one and select the next open slot. So that duplicated that, I'm gonna click here, rename it to camera two, and then just scroll down and I already have everything set up. I just have to switch my input from camera one to camera two. And I'm gonna duplicate this again rename it to camera three, set my input as camera three. All right, so now when I press those, it would activate camera one, two, or three. So those would do hard cuts, right? If I press camera one, it would do a hard cut to camera one. So what if I wanted to fade? So I could set up a second uh, row here for my fades. So I'm gonna click this empty button and I'm gonna also call this cam one and I'm gonna do a different color, which I'll explain in a minute. So I'm gonna set this up similarly, but I'm gonna pick a different action under ATEM. This time we're looking for 
ME set preview input. So last time we did program input, which is a hard cut, and this is going to set camera one as the preview. So I'm going to say camera one preview input, stay on ME1, and we'll pick cam one. All right, so now this button takes camera one live with a hard cut, and this button takes camera one uh, live on the preview window. All right, so now over here, I'm going to create a button that does my auto fade. Okay, so I'm going to name that fade under actions. I'm going to browse ATEM and I'm going to find uh, let's see right here. ME perform auto transition. So that will perform my fade transition on ME1 in this case. So now if I were to press this camera one, it would preview it. And then if I press fade, it would fade to camera one. Now, to make this a little easier to see, I am going to set the background here to be white and the text to be red because red signifies a cut. So I'm gonna make all these backgrounds white and the text red. All right, and then this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Background is white, but the text in this case is gonna be green because green signifies preview. All right, so now I can just duplicate this here. I'm just gonna do this quickly. Camera two and change my input to camera two. Duplicate this here and do camera three. All right, so this would hard cut to camera one, two, and three. This would preview cameras one, two, and three, and then I could fade. All right, now the next step would be, what if I wanna turn my lyrics on and off? I'm using um, a keyer to do the alpha key. So maybe up here, I'm gonna create a button that is my on-air button. And then my action in this case would be the downstream key set on air. So that will turn my lyrics on and off. So we're good there. And then what if I want feedback? What if I want to know which camera is currently live? So we can actually get that in this case. So this would all be functional. You just aren't going to get any feedback. So now under camera one, we can go down here and we can say feedback. So I want to add feedback, and I want to get under ATEM. We can scroll down and find what we need. So, all right, so we want one ME program source here. So if the input specified is selected in program, it'll change the style. So that's what we want right there. So on ME1, if CAM1 is selected, we're going to change the background to red and the text to white. So it should change the color when it's activated. So we're going to go to camera two and do the same thing so we can see how this works. I'm going to add the same feedback here and pick camera two. And then for camera three, I'm going to repeat the same thing. All right, now when I actually press the buttons, you should see them change and you'll know what is activated. So now I press camera one and it changed to red. If I press camera two, camera two changes to red. And if I press camera three, camera three changes to red. So it tells you which camera then is active, which is a pretty cool feature. So that is some of the basics of setting up an ATEM uh, video switcher from Blackmagic on the Stream Deck and getting it rolling. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.